How are you doing, guys? I can't what? sleep. I'm having a panic attack. She can't sleep. She has a panic attack. You Look usually rub my head, but it's not working, so what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Read a story. Read a story? Yes. Or are you going to make one up with your own imagination? Yes. Well, you're good at stories. Okay, let's see if it'll work. And I have the brains. And nobody's going to be able to hear you if you whisper. I have the brains of the brains. As smart as a dog. <laughs> I we're going to read Jack. What happened to the once? Once upon a time, there was this boy called Zed. Zed was walking around in the fort, had fun, but he tripped himself. And when he tripped himself, he was sprained. He was sprained? Yes. But one of these creatures was a wolf. And the wolf walked to him. He didn't eat him. He didn't bite him. He was being nice. So he helped him and carried him to his home. And the wolf was happy. He took him home and brought him to the hospital. See? To the what? Hospital. Hospital. But when he came back, he had a broken leg. But the fox was loving on him. And he loved him so much. And this time, next time, if he sprains his leg, the fox will hurt him again. Oh, and the fox went into his house. He didn't smell bad. He was clean. And <laughs> he... He was so clean. He was shinier than a shinier than a mansion. So he put him aside and fun watch TV. Both of them, and then he start rubbing on them. He scratching his back. Like this. And he had so much fun. You guys could do that too. When I see him, I see him. Bring a horse and a fox into their house. Nah, that was the other one. The horse was not very good. Guys, the one was lean. But, if you have a wolf in your house... Tell me on the comments. Tell me on the comments. You know what I'm saying? I thought you were give me, reading me a story. Give me a strike on the bell. Bell. Oh, and ask Mama if she can feel better. Everyone. Ask Mama. Put in the comments. Ask Mama to feel better. Please. Thank you, guys. The end. Can I see that video, Mama? I thought you were telling me a story. I didn't know you wanted to see a video. What do you mean? You think you're a superstar? Yeah. Oh, that was a quick story. I like the one where the donkey had to go inside the house and wash himself and give himself a bath because he stinks so bad. <laughs> and then he got into bed. I also like the other one about the fire, the man named Fire. That lived underwater, and the fire, he was ice cold. Tell him that joke. And what was his name? Imagine. 
Nation. That was his name. Yes. And I like the other one. I, well, I feel I feel sorry for my fish. The fish, yeah. You Tell feel sorry for my fish? Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for my fish too. You want to know why? Why? Well, he tried to commit suicide. You want to know how? Why? By drowning. Because he hates schools. See, he got really, really sick of living in his tank. <laughs> And his shell, his, his shell house, it caught on fire. And then he couldn't put the fire out because it kept flooding. So he tried to kill himself by committing suicide <laughs> and drowning. How did he drown? School. How did he drown himself? How can his shell house catch on fire if he's in the tank? And how can his tank flood? What? You can't get out of the house. I'm going to go to the shining. You should have told me a story about gold teeth, since your uncle got one. When you have gold teeth, oh, and it does hurt when you get it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Are you telling the truth? That's all of my bedtime story. That's all I get. Okay. Tell me, 